Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's Mickey and Friends, Mickey's Halloween Mystery. Would you like to read a Mickey Halloween Mystery? You would? Okay, let's get started. The Case of the Missing Hat Detective Minnie Mouse looked out her office window. The flowers were in bloom, and the birds were singing as they built their nests. Suddenly, Donald Duck burst in, making lots of noise. Calm down, Donald, said Minnie. I can't understand a word you are saying. Donald pointed to his, his bare head. Finally, Minnie understood. Your sailor hat, she said. It's missing? Yes, 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 Donald jumped up and down. I'm getting an award tomorrow, and I have to wear my hat to the party they are having for me. No one will know me without my sailor hat, Donald said. I won't even know myself. Leave it to me, said Minnie. I'll find your sailor hat. First, they went to Mickey's house. Look, said Minnie. Look behind that shade. Donald saw a familiar shadow. My hat, my hat, he said. We caught you, Mickey Mouse, Minnie said. But when they went inside, the shadow was just a bowl of fruit. Then they went to Goofy's house. Look, said Minnie, look behind that curtain. Once again, Donald saw a familiar shadow. My hat, my hat, he said. We caught you, Goofy, Minnie said. But the shadow was only the sleeping puppy that Goofy was taking care of. Next, they went to Pluto's house. Look, said Minnie, look in the doorway. Once more, Donald saw a familiar shadow. My hat, my hat, he said. We caught you, Pluto, said Minnie. But the shadow was Pluto's dog dish. I give up, said Donald Duck, and he went home. But Detective Minnie Mouse would not quit. First, she looked up. Then, she looked down. Then, she looked up again. There, in the tree, was Donald Duck's sailor hat with three tiny eggs in it. A family of robins was using it as a nest. Minnie rushed off to find Donald. When they returned, three tiny beaks were poking their way out of the, out of the eggs. Sorry, Mother Robin, said Minnie Mouse, but that nest, um, er, hat you have there, that belongs to, to this gentleman. Mother Robin was very worried. Her babies were too small to be moved. Three little open beaks pointed in Donald's direction, and a tear rolled down his cheek. Never mind, Minnie, Donald said. They can have my hat for as long as they need it. But, but what will you do? What will you wear to your party? Minnie asked. Donald gathered a bunch of twigs and put them on his head. If they can use my hat as a nest, said Donald, I can wear a nest as a hat. And they all laughed. <laughs> what have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Minnie, Donald, and of course, Mother Robin, that working together is the best way to solve a mystery. Have lots of Halloween fun, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.